Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Heretic as played on the Jeezy Doom engine on the Black Plague difficulty. I'm the Wolf Arok and this is episode 3, map 2, the cesspool. So, we start off in this pool of water. There's a couple of cages, one on each side, and a couple of gargoyles lurking in, in a corner each. They'll wake up as soon as we start firing or running into view. So, just get out the Dragon Claw. Check out the first gargoyle. Then take out his buddy in the corner. And then we'll use the rest of the Dragon Claw on the Ophidians. Grab the health vials if you need to. And about these cages, each one is a secret. They're found in a different part of the map each. So one's the invincibility ring, the other is the health staff. And you'll see how we reach them soon enough. For now, just run through this cesspool, get all the gargoyles attention, run back, and let's just go ham with the dragon claw. Let it rip. Just fuck them all up! And then we'll just use the... Did I call that a hell staff? I called that... It's a fucking phoenix rod. This is a hell staff. Jesus. So we have to go hunting for a switch to load the yellow key. We can't grab it otherwise. And we start by... Going up these stairs and down this passage. Don't worry about wasting the hell staff ammo. We're getting a crossbow soon enough. And there it is. Pick up the wings in the corner. When we come back to the yellow key, we'll use the wings to pick up the mystic urn. It's the only way to pick it up that I know of. We should come through that teleporter soon enough, I believe. So, I guess we'll know if we're seeing out this hallway. Anyway, grab the time of power. And press that switch, and we have lowered the yellow key. Take out the gargoyles in the window. If they can't reach you, you can use the uh, Ophidians over there to hit them by mistake, and they'll infight. We'll let them do just that. Let's just come up this way for now. And there's the yellow key. So, I usually like to just start on the left side as I make my way towards the green key next. And these steps will lower down, allowing you passage back into the previous hallways as need be. Down we go. Through this hallway, take out the gargoyles. And just watch out for the Ophidians. Watch out for a gargoyle over here as well. And I think we'll just go ahead and use some health stuff on these guys. Stubborn, aren't they? You know, let's go with the Dragon Claw. I'm wasting fucking hell stuff, ammo. Uh, yeah, hell stuff. There's also a couple more Ophidians in this cage. And it's out. Shit. We're just going to spend some time building up some Dragon Claw ammo. That's not a problem. 
So now we're heading through this teleporter next. It's going to take us to a central room with some disciples. So what I like to do is just get out the get out the staff here. I cannot remember the name of that staff anymore. And we'll equip the Tome of Power and the Invincibility Ring and step on in. In fact, we'll open up the green key passage behind it as while we're going. So, we'll just fight all the Ophidians and the Disciples together. When you go to pick up the green key, that's what opens up the ambush. I mean, as long as we're allowed to carry multiple items and they get taken away from us at the end of the map anyway, when they're handed to us, go nuts! And here is the fire mace. Not a particularly favourite weapon of mine. It's got a bit of a weird firing mode about it. Maybe I'll demonstrate it at some point, but not in this map. Now let's just check our map. We want to go through the right teleporter, which is here. And that's the teleporter that I pointed out earlier through this passage here. I can tell because of the... Previous, uh, previous Golem Corpse. But we've got the green key now. That door is our next destination. But let's just kill the rest of the Were Dragons. And grab the items that they're guarding, along with the Saber Claws. And you can go back up this passage if you want, and that's the, s the first secret that we'll be tagging. Which contains a silver shield and a backpack. We're going to go back down this way for now, and enter the storeroom. What we want to do here is just pick off any targets we see with the crossbow. We'll be using the time of power soon enough. Because that wall to my left, when you pick up the blue key, that'll open up a nasty disciple trap. And a, a, and a, a big group of disciples is no joke. I have an idea, actually. Let's pick up the Morph Ovum. And... Never mind. Uh, I forgot the Morph Ovum was right next to the blue key, so we'll just go, fall back on plan A. On the upside after this trap though, we can use the blue key and we can get the Ring of Invincibility. But let's just pick up all the items first. And ah, uh, I was meant to pick up the scroll, and that's where the second secret lies. Now we can move forward out of the storeroom, and as soon as you move forward, these mosaic walls will come down with traps. Now, this switch, I don't know what it does yet, so I'm going to leave it alone for the time being until I more or less complete the map. Because I want to figure out what it actually does.
You know what? I'm actually thinking it probably lowers down the pillar. Or pillars. No, it actually opens up the, uh... I guess that opened up the exit. And that's fine. Let's just continue forward for now against some more disciples and gargoyles. Once we've reached... 98 kills, we'll pretty much be ready to head for the exit. Just be mindful of the exit while you're at it. And I believe that flag on the wall over there leads to the Phoenix ride. We'll save that enchanted shield too, by the way. Might as well bring over an, a full, well-equipped enchanted shield into the next map. Okay, that brings us up to 98 kills. Everything's on a routine path. So all we really need to do now is head for that secret and pick up the Phoenix Ride. With a whopping full 40 rounds in total. But let's get out the Dragon Claw and use that against the Iron Lich sitting behind the door. Ow. Actually, that's okay, because it doesn't even matter if I come in with no health potions into the next map. Let's just go on a quick vile hunt. Okay, vile hunt over. Let's go get the enchanted shield and then head out. And that is the cesspool done.